In the wake of the mass protests faced by Prime Minister Vladimir Putin last month over alleged election fraud, members of Russian opposition group known as The Will have staged a fresh round of demonstrations in Moscow. They say the country is in need of socialist reform and have called for the nationalization of major industrial companies and natural resources. Meanwhile, the head of Russia's Orthodox Church has given his opinion on the country's recent political turmoil. In an interview aired on Orthodox Christmas Day on state television, Patriarch Kirill said that people should be free to express disagreement. This is the main message to the authorities and the main message to the people. They need to be able to express disagreement, not to yield to provocations and not to destroy the country. We fully exhausted the capacity for disunity. We have no more right to disunite. And the authorities should correct the course through dialogue and listening to society. Traditionally a close ally to those in power, Patriarch Kirill's comments are thought to be an attempt to position the church as a neutral force between the government and the opposition. More protests are due in early February, a month before the March 4th election, which is expected to land Vladimir Putin a third term as Russia's president.